What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we kicked some butts, took some names, and now it's time for us to move on to the next adventure, and that is to the desert. Now, the one thing that I really like about the Pokemon Black and White series, including White 2 and Black 2, you know, is that the desert itself has a low, like a buttload of Pokemon to choose from. I, I cannot stress this enough, guys. And whoa, hold, hold, hold the phone. Oh, it's you again. If it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokemon? Uh, sure, why not? I appreciate your cooperation. Oh, how interesting. Your Crowlet seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species. And you're a trainer with merely three badges? Fantastic. I'm not sure how you're going to do or you're doing it, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. I am a scientist. My name is Colrush. Colrush, I should say. The theme of my research, bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon. Is it possible or is it possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their uh, the trainers? Or is there some other different method? I like to test my theory by battling with you. Do you find this acceptable? Well, sure, why not? Might as well, right? Either way, I'll be waiting on uh, Route 4. It's just beyond here. Oh, okay. All right, cool. All right, cool. Anywho, uh, like I was saying, guys, Route 4, very interesting place. It does have a lot of Pokemon to choose from. If you guys remember, in Pokemon Black and White 2, or Black and White, I actually captured three Pokemon in that one location. Uh, Darmanitan, I believe, yeah, Sigalith, Gigalith, Jigalith, uh, can't even remember the name, yeah, and uh, I think Drillbur, I don't know. You guys gotta remind me this. Alright, so the next route is Nimbasa, but hold the phone, Bianca's like, hey! When I saw you in the city, I just had to catch up with you. Here, take this. This is the dowsing machine. And just like that, guys, we get an item finder, which is pretty cool. Let's see. You can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. It's exciting to find an item while you're looking for Pokemon. Oh, good luck. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, if you often use the dowsing machine, the habitat list, and so on, why don't you just register them? Er, I think it's written in this book. I found it. Okay, I'll read it. You can choose the registered item just by pressing the Y button. See? Okay, bye. Okay, so... I, I, I just don't know. Okay, so the Castilia Harlequin Hunt is uh, a way to make more people have Cast love Castilia City. That's why we generously gave you a bicycle at the beginning. It is the best way to get around Castilia City. Keep loving Castilia City. Okay, never mind. And Pokemon Breeders are at Route 4. Which is pretty cool. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, Dowsing Machine is going to be useful for this next route. Um, yeah, I did capture quite a few Pokemon in this area. And I do have uh, something in mind. Now, remember, I did say that I was going to actually capture my old team. I'm going to be using some of them, but not all of them, guys. I'm going to keep them around, level them up. You know, kind of like what I promised to say, that I was going to keep the native Pokemon and all that crud. So, here we are, Route 4, and I don't think anybody wants to battle us. Oh, trainer, take a look at the sand. Do you see some uh, areas that are lighter and some, areas, some sand that looks darker? Pokemon are hiding in the darker sand. That is true. And, yes, this guy wants to battle us. So, we're going to go quick right here. Yes, we're battling quickly right now, and this guy comes out with a sand dial. Now, we're in the... We are definitely inside the desert area, and, well, we're going to get hit by a bunch of sand. And, yeah, Torment has hit us, so we can't be using the reversal quite a few times. There you go. And here comes a Herdier, so let's go with Sia the Torrent right here. And, well, Razor, razor Shell... Ready to go, and I almost said Razor Leaf again. My bad, guys, but I'm just so obsessed with that. Here we go, Razor Shell, and for the win, we did it. Okay. <sighs> okay, so let's see. There's another trainer right there waiting for us. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. So we got Magneto here. It is immune to the Sandstorm since it is a, a Steel-type Pokemon. So let's put him in front. Having lots of Pokemon battles, we train Pokemon quickly. 
And guess what? We are gonna go fast right here. Pokemon Breeder coming out with a Drillbur. And I think I do have the move to actually beat it. That right there was super effective. And let's go with a Sonic Boom. And our accurate... Oh, wow. So we're gonna have to go straight up with a Magnet Bomb since it doesn't fail. And bam. Look at that. Okay, so it's coming out with a Meryl. Let's go ahead and take a... Actually, I may have made a mistake right there because, well... Crud Baskets. Okay. Yeah, we made a mistake because, well, uh, Magneto doesn't have any accuracy left. So let's go straight to Ace. And here comes the rollout attack, which will get powerful as it goes. So there we go. Take down attack does it. And we have defeated this Pokemon trainer. Now, I think this is the one that you can actually battle every single day. So that is something to, to, to be aware of. Now, let's see. There are quite a few Pokemon here that you can actually capture. There are quite a few items. And look at that, we found ourselves a Mystic Water, which can be used to actually power up your Water-type Pokemon, which I will be using a little later. But right now, let's go ahead and give Magneto a bit of a, a potion, because, well, <laughs> it went through some kind of damage. And let's go ahead and battle some of these Fishermen right here. So, bam, Fisherman Andrew wants to battle. Magneto going up against a Pokemon. It can actually go up against pretty well, and look at that. Okay, so Basculin. Taking a fight attack, but there we go. Basculin still not giving up, so let's go again. Thundershock for the win. And Psy grows to level 25. L learning Water Pulse, so let's go ahead and take away Water Sports. since really I don't use it anymore. Okay, and luckily there's no Fire-type trainer. Gym leader, I should say. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. Don't you guys love the speed button? I do. Okay, so there we go. Thundershock. And Paralysis is your worst friend right there, but look at that. Okay, and Magneto grows to level 19. Great! Okay, so we're doing pretty good right here for ourselves. Now, there is a trainer right there, Colrus, waiting for us. So let's go ahead and switch out to Budkiss, since I kind of have a feeling this guy has, like, Steel-type Pokemon. Okay! I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interesting in, a, in what's behind me. These are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crustle. Observe. With this device I created to energize Pokemon, I'll... The heck? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. With... Oh, wow. With the wiggle of his fingers, those Crustles are disappearing. He's like, those Crustle. Were they just lying here out of the energy or with their boulders in their backs? Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. Okay, so then who, who... Okay, so what are you... Okay, I don't really get you. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Draven. I'll remember that name. Well then, I will test you to see if you're a trainer that can bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. Okay, so here we go, guys. Our very first battle against Colrus. This guy is all techie and all that crud. Okay. So he's going to be coming out with a Magnemite. How did I know this? Maybe I had an idea. I do not know. But let us find out how we beat this guy. And, well, we do have the Sandstorm to worry about. So let's go straight for a Flame Wheel. And a Flame Wheel does its trick but Magnemite does have sturdy so we're gonna get hit by a thunder wave attack which yeah it really messes me up right now because yeah paralysis sandstorm we go second Colrus of course does heal up its Pokemon and yeah we cannot move holy crud okay so let's speed up speed it up just a little bit and there we go come on and there we go we have defeated Magnemite so that's one Pokemon down, and, well, we're getting buffed by a Sandstorm right here. And, Colrus is coming out with another Steel-type Pokemon, so... At this point in time, we're gonna have to heal up our Pokemon. I kinda wish we had, uh, what was it called? A Full Restore. Because this would've taken care of this whole situation all in one time. But, eh, well, well, we'll see what happens. So, there's a Thundershock getting buffed. So, double hits every single time. You know what? Screw it. Let's go, let's see, Orenberry. Let's go straight for a Paralysis heal. And there we go, healed. 
And there comes a charge attack. So we are going to... Oh, crud. Okay, okay. So his special defense has gone up. But let's go with a physical attack right here. Flame wheel attack. And that saves it for a little bit. And here comes a Thundershock really hitting us. Para uh, paralysis again. Good gravy. Gear grind beats my uh, butt kiss. And wow. That really messed up my Pokemon. So let's go straight for Ace. I believe Ace can actually do something right here. Let's go ahead and go for a return attack. Again, you know, Clink is, is still a steel type Pokemon. So yeah, physical attacks won't do much. But since return is based off the love of the Pokemon, yes, this Pokemon loves us. It really does. I see. Just like the gym leaders in each area or Elite Four and champion in the Pokemon League, you bring out the power of Pokemon by being kind to them. That's kind of the person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. And we get ourselves a protein, which, okay, fine, cool. It's so frustrating. If only we could talk Pokemon in order to bring out their power. But there's no way a person like that could ever exist. Well then, Draven, I hope to see you again sometime. Okay, all right. Okay, Chorus, I will see you soon, okay. So, here we are, guys, Route 4. And there are trainers right here, okay? So, let me come back in just a little bit, guys. I gotta heal up my Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I gotta heal up my Pokemon, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here we are back, and we actually healed up our Pokemon. Off screen, I did capture Hotchai. If you guys don't remember, it's that Dyramaka, or I, I can't remember the name of the Pokemon, but yes, Hotchai is now in the PC. Now, as you can see right here, this is Route 4. Now, in Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, there's going to be a differences. Uh, there's going to be a difference. In Black 2, this whole area is going to be fully developed as it, right here in Pokemon White 2. Yeah, it's not really that developed. It's still like forming. Hi, I'll mimic a Pokemon sound. Please listen. Okay, I'll mimic the sound of a Pokemon you're with. And that to me sounded like Herdier. Correct. You can recognize the sound of your Pokemon. You can always hear, right? Thank you for playing with me. A small gift from me, and we get ourselves a Pokey toy, which I guess is always nice. I don't know. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and explore Route Four because we got a lot of stuff to explore right here. There are active tra active trainers right here too, guys. So just be aware of that. And let's see, we're gonna grab the items, but before anything, yeah, we're gonna get attacked by these trainers. And well, let's go ahead and speed battle this whole thing right here. We're gonna take on a Lyford, and well. These Pokemon have gotten a little bit stronger and a little faster than us, so let's go straight for that uh, good old attack right here. Let's go with a reversal, and that right there messed up, and bam, Lyford has been defeated. Yeah, buddy, okay. Yeah, so we got some interesting Pokemon, pretty strong Pokemon, and well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Grab this, we found ourselves a Stardust can that we can use to actually, you know, buy some more items and all that crud too. Let's go ahead and pair up some Pokemon right here. So Ace and Psy can actually do the trick right here. And we got Twins ready to take us on right here. And well, Anishant, it's Anishant. Uh, okay, I don't even know what that means, but we're gonna press that. Yeah, we're gonna press that speed button right there. And right now we are at a disadvantage, somewhat. So let's go with a Fury Cutter right here to Petalil. And a takedown attack to Cottony. Bam, Cottony has been yeah, okay, so right now they're going to be picking on Sai of the Torrent, and we're going to be doing the same deal right here, so let's go, let's go. Look at that, that's one down, and two to go, look at that, look at that, oh yeah, look at that! And, yes, experience points all the way right there, guys. Now, let's talk to this guy. My gorgeous Pokemon and I have come to Frolic Relic, a Relic Castle. Here, take a look at my Pokemon. And it's a female, I believe. So let's go right ahead and oh, it's a male. Okay, never mind. I am totally misjudged you. And well, let's go ahead and go with the razor shell right here. Now I do. I, I just realized that I have, I have a uh, water pulse, so that could uh, actually come in handy right here. So let's go water pulse, bam for the win. And rich boy has defeated or has been defeated, which of course gives us a little bit more money. And well, there's gonna be some entrances right here. So. I think we have to battle these people. I'm very particular about Pokemon attack. That's why you, do you have a Pokemon whose attack is stat is the same or higher than 163? And as of right now, we ain't got nothing. 
we got nothing. And I'm pretty sure she's going to ask us for a Pokemon that has, like, defense uh, 100 points above. So that's, like, that's totally impossible right there. And I want to trade your Petalo for my Cottony. Don't have those Pokemon. And here we have a Bright Powder, which could be used for, I guess, a Bug-type Pokemon. Sandstorms are terrible, but Rock, Ground, and Steel-type Pokemon can weather the Sandstorm without damage, which is true. Thankfully, we got ourselves our Magneto right here. And, well, I'm going to secretly go through these spots right here because, uh, well, why not? And, uh... This guy has found us crud baskets. Okay. And yeah, we're going to be speeding through this whole thing right here. So we're taking on Norbit. And he has a Growlithe to go with this. So let's go straight for a Water Pulse attack. And that right there beats him. And well, you know what? We're going to continue on right here. Let's go straight for a Water Pulse. Sandshrew has been defeated. And Norbit has been defeated too. So that's another one. Another victory for us. We'll take that W. And this area right here let's see what do you what do you guys offer every monday pokemon fly here from somewhere and well let's see hmm you're a trainer with quick eyes i'll give you these we get ourselves some citrus berries which is always great and well let's talk to this guy if a pokemon are released and demonstrate their true skills will be will we be used by pokemon and battle for them someday i <laughs> that's kind of weird that's kind of odd Okay, so let's see. Let's go right here. There's nothing, so let's see. I think there might be... Yeah, there's a door right here, this area. And if you talk to this individual... Hmm, aren't you a little bit tired? Don't be shy. Take a rest. Okay, so this is the reason why I went to go rest my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. Because we were going to battle a boatload of trainers. And that's something that we didn't want. And, well, there's somebody here. It's a trainer. <laughs> hey you check out my Pokemon before you go Okay, let's go ahead and speed this up right here Sachio wants to come out with a Darumaka and like I said before off-screen guys I actually did capture myself Darumaka in Pokemon black We named this Pokemon hotshot, which you know will make a sporadic appearance here and there, you know I don't know. I don't know when so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon and let's go straight to you know what, let's go Magneto, because it's the only Pokemon that is not at level 20. We kind of need to get him there. And, well, oh, crap baskets, okay. Look, stop, okay. Damn it! Okay, right here. Okay, so you noticed me finally, alright. Let's go, battle! And a backpacker, Michelle, coming out with a Woo Bat. Definitely not a Woo Bat. Definitely not the Woo is Bat, so here we go, Thundershock. And that defeats Woobat. And Psy grows level 27. She's going to be coming out with a P-Dove. So let's go again. Another Bam. And there we go. Look at that. Okay. So it's another victory for us right there. So there's really nothing else that you can actually do right here. Except for travel everything else in between. And I, yeah, there's a Pokemon item right there. So let's go ahead and grab that. And get attacked by a Pokemon. Okay. So that was a Minchino, guys. And here we have the TM28 Dig. A very, very good move. Much needed move, especially since we're going into this area right here. And, well, just like that, guys, we're going to pause right here in this location. Because there's there's definitely a lot of things that we can actually do in this, this particular location. Uh, not only that, but I'm actually going to change the day. Uh, the, the day of this uh, to this computer so it can coincide right here to uh, to the game because there was an individual that said every Monday a certain Pokemon come around here I want to show you that guy uh, that Pokemon because well we might be using this Pokemon for just a little bit going into our adventure so again guys thank you guys for watching I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in the desert see you guys